Well, all right. Hi, guys. We're back at Hilltop Park. We've got the Naps at the Highlanders. You know I'm not a huge fan of playing with the 1908 Highlanders, but um, we have to do our duty. New York is seven and a half games out of first behind the league-leading Athletics, who uh, won. Didn't we just play with them? Let me look up my notes here. Um, they have not played yet. They're playing uh, two uh, uh, days from now. So wait, not tomorrow, but the day after. We'll see the Athletics play another one. They've won four in a row. Philadelphia has. The Naps are right on their tail, along with two other teams at a game and a half behind. And yeah, the Highlanders are a bad team, and they're playing poorly. They've lost nine in a row. Um, so uh, we'll see how they do here. It's going to be uh, Josh Clark to lead this off against Joe Lake, the uh, pitcher for New York. And Clark rolls a 12 for a 24. It's a ground ball to short. Ball has that on to first, one away. Bill Bradley comes up now, 209 is his average. Lake is 2-1 and one with a 1.25 ERA, but a 267 batted against average. And uh, the roll from Bradley is a 16 for a 28. Ground ball to ball again, who throws to first. Two gone. Here comes Napoleon now hitting 270. That average is coming up a little bit. He rolls a 61 for a 13 and strikes out, and we go to the bottom of the first. Harry Niles will lead this off for the Highlanders up against Heine Berger. Heine is 1-3 one, uh, one and three this season, 1.87 ERA, and the rolls a 16 for a 26. It's a ground ball to Napoleon, who throws to first, one away. Neil Ball coming up, hitting 266, rolls a 43 for a 29. Back to Berger, throws to first, two gone, and here's Wee Willie Keeler. Hitting only 250, it's kind of an off season for him so far, and he rolls a 21 for a 30. It's a fly over to left, and uh, Clark, uh, it's um, uh, Josh Clark who has that for the out. We go to the top of the second. It'll be Jay Clark, the catcher, leading this off for the naps. He rolls a 36 for a 33. Here is a little E roll. It's an 11, which means it's going to be within the range, and that's going to be an air charge to Niles, the second baseman. The ball came to him and ate him up, so uh, Jay's on at first. Here is uh, George Stovall. The question already is, do we bunt or swing away? Probably bunt with him. Rolls a 26 for a 27. That's going to be two strikes on Stovall. Next roll is a 21 for a 30, so it's a fly ball to left field, and Stahl has that for the out. There's one away. Here now is Bill Hinchman. Hinchman hitting 193. He's going to try to bunt as well. Might as well. And it's a good bunt. Rolls a 32 for a 26. Bunt to the right side. Chase has that one. Hal flips it over to Niles, the second baseman covering the bag. Two away, and here is uh, George Pairing, runner on at second base. And Pairing rolls a 44 for an 8. It's a comebacker over to Lake, who throws to first. And we go to the bottom of the second. No hits, no score, no nothing. Here is Charlie Hemphill for the Highlanders up against Tiny Berger. And the roll is a 21 for a 30. Fly ball left field, and it's going to be Josh Clark who grabs that for the out, one away. Jake Stahl up next. Rolls a 41 for a 28 ground ball to short, and uh, pairing throws the first two out. And here's Hal Chase, um, the famous player who was supposedly so good at so many different things and um, who is hitting the grand total of uh, 232 and uh, has not been an offensive threat at all this season. He rolls a 34 for a 44. It's a fly ball to center field. Birmingham has that for the out, and we go to the top of the third. Joe Birmingham will uh, lead this off for the Naps. Still no offense in this game. His roll is a 53 for a 16, change to a 22. That's going to be an error on Joe Lake, and Birmingham finds a way to get on first. Here now is Heine Berger. Birmingham does have an 11. We could think about uh, doing the uh, hit and run. In fact, it might be a good idea to do that, although I worry about those 13s. We're going to bunt instead. Rolls a 43 for a 29, and that's not what we wanted to have happen. So Chase um, uh, makes that play, throws over to Ball at uh, second base, and they get the lead runner. So now it's Heine Berger on at first, and of course he doesn't have anything going on. Josh Clark will be the batter with Berger on at first. It rolls a 52 for a 27, a ground ball to third, and uh, it's going to be Moriarty who makes the play on the first, and Berger moves to second. Two away, and here's Bill Bradley. And Bill gets the first hit of the game, rolls a 33 for a 7. That's a clean single to right, and that'll score Berger. So it's one nothing for Cleveland. Here is Napoleon now, runner on at first. He rolls a 32 for a 26. Ground ball to Niles, who flips over to ball for the force out, and we go to the bottom of the third. Only one hit in this game, and it produced the one run. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Here is George Moriarty, who's hitting 250 now. He's come a little bit down closer to uh, earth um, he's uh, starting in the place of Wid Conroy, who's hitting like 100 or something. Moriarty rolls a 52 for a 27. It's a grounder over to the left side. Bradley throws to first. There's one away. Walter Blair now. 
Rolls a 35 for a 22 change to 17. It's a fly ball to right field. Good play by Hinchman to get that for the out. And there's two away. Here now is Joe Lake. Lake rolls a 26 for a 29. Comebacker over to the pitcher, Berger, who throws to first. And uh, we go to the top of the fourth. one nothing naps. Only one hit in this game. And here is uh, Jay Clark. Clark rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a grounder over to Niles, who throws to first. There's one away. George Stovall is up now. And he rolls a 44 for a 7. That'll be a single to right, and that'll bring up uh, Bill Hinchman. So the Naps are looking to add to their lead. Here is Hinchman. Stovall does not have that 11. Hinchman hitting 193, so we'll have him bunt again. It's a 52 for a 27, which means two strikes on him, so we'll let Bill go ahead and swing away. And he rolls a 13 for a 14 and takes a walk from Lake. So there's runners on it, first and second, with one out. Here now for George Pairing who uh, I think also is going to try to bunt. One away. And the roll is a 12 for a 24. There is a little E roll. Uh, and it's an 11. Look at that within the range. And so that'll be changed to 19, which is an error on the third baseman, Moriarty, who does not feel that bunt well. One run scores, and Hinchman goes around to third, and Pairing's able to go to second um, on that poor throw by Moriarty. And so it's a 2 nothing game. And here now is Joe Birmingham. Birmingham got on base on an air last time up. That uh, was led to the sequence that scored the one run for the Naps when they only had one. And his roll is a 15 for an 11. That's a single to left, and that will score once and pairing to third, and Birmingham steals second. So it's a 3 nothing game for the Naps, and here's Heine Berger, who's going to swing away this time. No hits yet this season, 13 plate appearances, and he rolls a 44 for a 9. That's a fly ball deep to right field, and Keeler has that for the out, but both runners tag in advance, and it's a 4 nothing game in favor of Cleveland. Two outs, and here's Josh Clark again. He's 0 for 2 today. Runner on a third. He rolls a 25 for an 11. It's a single to center, and that will score the runner, and Clark ends up on second afterwards with the stolen base with Bill Bradley up there. Four runs here in the top of the fourth inning. It's a 5 nothing lead for the Naps, and um, here is Bill Bradley, who is one for two today, drove in a run. And the roll is a 51 for a nine, and that's a ground ball over to Chase. The first baseman goes to the bag, and that does it. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, 5 nothing naps. This game was close, not anymore. Here's Harry Niles. Niles rolls a 63 for a 31. Fly ball center field. Birmingham has that. There is one away. Neil Ball now rolls a 54 for a 45. It's a fly ball to right. Hinchman's got that, and there's two away. We Willie Keeler rolls a 52 for a 27. Ground ball left side, and Bradley throws to first, and we go to the top of the fifth. Here he is. Napoleon uh, comes up. Rolls a 33 for a 0, and uh, his second roll is a 31 for a 6. There is an outside chance at a home run. He rolls a 41, so that's going to stay a double. That'll be a double for uh, Napoleon, and uh, he's the runner on at second. That'll bring up Jay Clark. And uh, the Naps have uh, three chances here to score another run. Rolls a 65 for a 35, a little E roll. Ends up being a 33, and so it's a foul out over to the left side. Moriarty catches that for the out. That's one away. George Stovall comes up now. George rolls a 52 for a 27. Another ball for Moriarty. He gets that grounder, throws the first, and there's two out. And here's Bill Hinchman. So Napoleon's still anchored to second, and uh, Bill rolls a 53 for a 17, changed to 22. That's going to be a stolen base for Napoleon. He steals third. Two out still, and here's Hinchman again. And he rolls a 52 for a 27. It's a ground ball again to Moriarty, who throws to first, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. It'll be uh, Charlie Hemphill here for the uh, Highlanders. 0 for 1. And he rolls a 46 for a 29. Ground ball back to Berger, who throws to first. One away. Jake Stahl. And Stahl rolls a 43 for a 29. Another grounder back to Berger, and that's the second out. Here's Hal Chase. Chase inning, as I said, 229, not doing so well. He rolls a 43 for a 29, three in a row back to Berger, and he uh, has an easy inning, and we go to the top of the six. It'll be uh, George Pairing here. And George rolls a 63 for a 30, fly ball left field. Stahl has that for the out. That's one away. Joel Birmingham now rolls a 51 for a nine. It's a pop-up to the left side, and uh, that'll be uh, Moriarty catching that. There's two away, and here is Heine Berger. And he rolls a 34 for a 44. There's a little E roll. 
the 62 out of the range. It's a fly ball to center. Hemphill's got that. We go to the bottom of the six, and here is George Moriarty. 235, that average still shows you how good he was at the beginning of this year, and he rolls a 52 for a 27. Quiet ground ball to the left side. Bradley has it on to first. There's one gone. Here now is Walter Blair, and Walter rolls an 11 for a zero. That'll end the no-hitter. The next one's a 65 for an eight, so there's a single to left center field. That brings up Joe Lake, the pitcher. So one hit now for the Highlanders as they tried to muster some kind of offensive attack. And Lakes rolls a 42 for a 13, and he strikes out. First strikeout, by the way, for Heine Berger. It's taken a while. Bottom of the sixth, Warner on first base, two outs, 5 nothing to score. Harry Niles is up, and he rolls a 35 for a 36, changed to a 23. It's going to be a uh, Bach charge to Berger, and Blair goes to second. Next roll is a 64 for a 13, and that's a strikeout, and Berger gets his man, and we go to the top of the seventh inning. Still a 5 nothing ball game, and here comes Josh Clark. So Josh Clark will lead this off. Leadoff hitters, one for three today with an RBI and a stolen base. He rolls a 65 for a 35. Little E rolls a 23. That's in the range. That'll be changed to 21. That's an error on the first baseman, and so Clark makes it to first. New York's given up four um, errors so far. They've allowed four errors. Here's Bill Bradley now with the runner on at first. Clark is not a particularly fast. No, he has got a couple of 11s, so let's do this hit and run thing. Rolls a 56 for a 34. That's not what you want to see. It's a line drive over to Ball. He makes the grab and throws to Chase for the double play. One uh, pitch, two outs, and here's Napoleon. He rolls a 15 for an 8, and that's a single to left center field, and that could have scored the run, so that was a bad decision. Here's uh, Jay Clark now, runner on at first with two outs. And he rolls, look at that, a 66 for a zero. And then it's a, uh, a 53 for a six. Here's the uh, little uh, home run roll. It's a 51 out of the range. So it's a double for Clark, and he scores the run. Six nothing now the score. And I think that that's going to be it probably here for Joe Lake. I'm not sure that there's any reason to continue with him. Um, from this point forward, we're going to see if we have someone we can just throw out there thinking Orth or Newton, we'll make it Newton. So Doc Newton comes in here in relief for the uh, Highlanders. Runner on his second base, top of the seven. It's a 6 nothing game. It's um, all over pretty much but the shouting. Stovall rolls a 64 for a 13 and strikes out, and we go to the bottom of the eighth. It'll be Neil Ball here for New York. He rolls a 55 for an A ground ball to uh, short, and uh, pairing throws the first, one gone. Here is Wee Willie Keeler, and he rolls a 25 for an 8. It's another grounder to short, and uh, it's going to be pairing again to first, two away. And here is Charlie Hemphill. He rolls a 14 for a 43. Fly ball to left. Clark has that for the out. We go to the top of the eighth inning. It's still 6 nothing Cleveland. Leading off is Bill Hinchman, who rolls an 11 for a 0. And then a 43 for a 6. That'll be a double, clean double to right center field, bringing up George Pairing. And he's got a gift in front of him, runner in scoring position. 10 RBI so far for Joe, or for George, sorry, trying for another one, and he rolls a 25 for a 9. That's a single, and that will score the run. Pairing is thrown out trying to steal afterwards, but that's another run, and it's 7 nothing naps. Newton's ERA is 4.50, so much for the 11 um, uh, pitching uh, grade. Joe Birmingham up now. Nobody on, one out, rolls a 56 for a 34. It's a pop-up over to the left side. Ball, the shortstop, has that for the out, two away, and here's Heine Berger, and people are... In Cleveland, of course, would be up uh, cheering, but we're in New York. The rule is a 44 for a 9. That's a single for Berger. He's now 1 for 3 today, and that'll bring up Josh Clark, and the hits keep on coming. 10 hits for the Naps. And uh, Clark rolls a 44 for an 8. That's going to be a ground ball to the left side. Moriarty has that and throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the 8th inning. It'll be Jake Stahl to lead this off. Jake rolls a 12 for a 25, and here's the uh, little E rule. It's an 11, so that's a uh, going to be changed to a 19. That's going to be an error on Bradley, the third baseman. First error given up by the Naps, and that will bring up Hal Chase. Got to swing away. Bunting does you nothing, and uh, Chase rolls a 33 for a 7. That's a single to right center field, bringing up Moriarty. So runners on at first and second. Highlander's trying to do something. Only two hits in this game, and Moriarty rolls an 11 for a 7. That's a single for him, but will score one and send Chase to third. That's why Moriarty is starting, by the way, because uh, Wood Conroy wasn't doing any of that. Here now is Walter Blair with the uh, score 7 to 1. Runners on the corners, nobody out. Blair rolls a 31 for a 36, changed to a 40. That's going to be 
a uh, failed double steal. So the runner on third is caught trying to steal, and Moriarty ends up at second, a rare play. One away, here's Blair again, and he rolls a 21 for a 30. It's a fly to left. Clark has that for the out. There's two away, and here comes Newton, and we're going to leave him in this game. I know that you could pinch hit for him, but he's not going to hit a six-run homer. Newton rolls a 46 for a 13 and strikes out. We go to the top of the ninth. It'll be Bill Bradley here for the naps. Bill rolls a 24 for a 13. That's a strikeout second by Newton, one away. Here comes Napoleon, who's two for four today with a stolen base and a run scored. Rolls a 56 for a 34. Little E rolls a 41 out of the range. It's a pop-up over to the left side. Ball has that for the out, two away. And here is Jay Clark. He rolls a 21 for a 30. It's a fly to left. Stahl has that for the out, and we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Harry Niles, uh, the leadoff hitter, leads this off for the uh, Highlanders. Rolls a 53 for a 20, changed to a 22. Ground ball to Stovall, the first baseman, who flips over to Berger, covering at the bag for the out. There's one away. Neil Ball now. Rolls a 53 for a 19, changed to an 18. That's going to be an error on the uh, shortstop pairing. So two errors by Cleveland here in the late innings. That'll bring up Wee Willie Keeler. Keeler rolls, look at that, a 66 for a zero. His next roll is a 32 for an 11. That's a single over first. Ball goes to third, and Keeler steals second. That brings up Charlie Hemphill. So there is still an outside chance that the Highlanders could do something. Hemphill rolls a 54 for a 45. A little E roll again. This is a 22, so it's in the range. It's changed to 19, and that's going to be an error on the third baseman, Bradley, and that allows another run to score. Runners on the corners again. It's 7-2, to two, and here comes Jake Stahl. Stahl rolls a 34 for a 44. It's a fly ball to center field, and uh, Birmingham has that for the out, but the run scores, and it's 7-3, to three, and here comes Hal Chase, the last hope. And Chase rolls a 21 for a 30. It's a fly ball over to center field. Birmingham has that again, and that'll do it. So the uh, Naps do win this one in the end. 7-3 to three is the final score, as the Highlanders made it somewhat interesting by the end. The game, though, for all intents and purposes, was over. Cleveland will improve to 15-10. and 10. The Highlanders down to 9-18, and they are uh, making a home for themselves in the uh, cellar. New York has lost 10 in a row. Final score again, 7-3 to three Cleveland, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.